And this one I'm going to show you how to solve a common type of SAT inequality problem. So it usually has like this form, take a look. So for example, you might have like 2 is less than or equal to some number like 4. And then here you might have, for example, 2 plus x. And then this is less than or equal to, for example, 5. And the question is not to solve the inequality, but simply to just find one value of x that makes it true. That's the goal here. So I can do that as follows. I can go based on the following simpler inequality as a first numerical example before we get to this one. Take a look. If you have this, for example, 1 is less than 2, which is less than 3, most of us can take a look at this and say that it's clearly true. If I divide everything by 2, then I will have that 0.5 is less than 1, which is less than 1.5. You see, this is also true. Because it is. So then here, when I do my inequality, I can just begin by dividing everything by 4 as a first step, like that. Okay, so now on the left side, I will have 0.5. It was less than or equal to the 1 and the, and the 4 cancel here, rather, the 4 and the 4, leaving 1 times 2 plus x, and this has to be less than or equal to 1.25. So let's think about how we can solve this next step. Well, here are some sample values that make this inequality true. So when I say this, I mean a 1 and 2. The inequality at step 2. For example, I could have it so that the middle here has the value 1. In other words, it could look like this. 0.5 is less than 2 plus something. So in other words, some value of x that makes the whole thing equal to 1. So for now, I'll erase that. And what I really want is a 1 in this position less than or equal to 1.25. Why do I want a 1? That's not important. It could be 0.8. It could be 0.75. I just want some number in here at step 3 that fits between 0.5 and 1.25. Just some number. So it could be 1. How do I get a 1 when I go from 2 to 3? Well, it's got to be the case in that that expression 2 plus x has the value 1. So when I solve this, when I go to step 5, I'll have that x equals negative 1. And this is an acceptable value of x that solves the inequality at step 1 all the way up top. But this is not the only value. Take a look. For example, at step 6, there's nothing special about choosing at step 3 the middle to be 1. It's a made-up value. So if you wanted to, just to show you that it's possible, you could do it this way. You could put a 0.8 in here. Imagine what I want in this position is a 0.8. Why would I want that? Because that is between 0.5 and 1.25. That's such, This here is true, in other words. You see this? It's true. So with that choice of the middle value, I would have to have it so that 2 plus x equals 0.8, which at step 8 would allow me to conclude, therefore, that let's see here, x has to be equal to 0.8 minus 2. So when I do that, that's negative 1.2. That's an also on another acceptable value of x. Remember, the question is one value of x that makes the inequality at back at step number one is originally written true. So x equals negative one, x equals negative 1.2. It doesn't say solve it in general. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.